What's going on, guys? This is KNASTY3 at 90 here. Welcome back to the episode of Tampa Bay Rays Franchise. It's episode number 27, I believe. We just lost in the ALCS to the Cleveland Indians. I feel like our offense is not strong enough. I feel like our lineup, the bottom of it was just a little too weak. Uh, so I think that's going to be our improvement. We may be doing some big changes, though. I mean, Cassini is a good young player, but Correa is getting up there. In age, he had a great year, but like I said, he is a free agent. Um, this is going to be tough. Let's see who win, who won the World Series. Excuse me. It is the Indians defeat the Dodgers. So shout out to Cleveland. You got yourself a World Series winning team. And let's check retired players. So no one on the uh, Rays. I was I was thinking maybe Correa could. I'm glad he didn't. Uh, Severino retired at age 34. Wow. He did strike at over 2,000 batters in his career. Not bad. Um, Kyle Jensen. I thought it was Kenley, but nope, that's Kyle Jensen. Let's see any name. Tyler Skaggs. That's a name I... Marcus Stroman. Uh, a solid career. Nothing great. <clears throat> Let's see. Trevor Rosenthal finally retired. Damn. Uh, not a... I, I'm not sure if we'll see any Hall of Famers in this. I don't know. Could be wrong. There could... Aaron Nola. How good of a career? He didn't have a good career. Uh, let's see. Braden Shipley. Uh, John Gray, no, that's not a bad career. Three seven five career ERA is not bad, but not a Hall of Fame. Er, uh, Ty Blatch, a solid career. Three seven three ERA. Unless there's like a free agent. Oh, there's Tyler Anderson. Didn't play the last three years. Finally retired. Oh, and there's a couple guys who are free agents. Goldie and Bumgarner. I have no problems with those. Goldie finished a career three hundred hitter, four eighty one, two hundred seventy four stolen bases. Bumgarner almost struck out 3,000 career ERA of 303. Easily, those are no doubt Hall of Famers if they put up those numbers. So, our staff, good. Don't have to worry about that. Exclusive free agents. Now, oh, my goodness. um, This is going to be tough. I'm almost... I think Otani's still got something left. Correa definitely has something left. McKay, I'm okay with losing. He had a good year, but... That's tender qualifying offer to all of these guys. Just Let's just get that out of the way. Oh, he has a player option. Okay. Do me a solid Otani accept it. Now, what does Correa want? A four... He doesn't even want... Ugh, the interest bar is so low. I... Uh, I actually might just think it might be time to move on. It, which sucks. But he doesn't want to... He really doesn't want to be here. Look at that interest is not that high. So, basically, I'm going to have to give him... The player option on that deal, so that fourth year, which I don't have a problem doing that. Um, but then I'm gonna have to really bring it up to like 35 million. Oops, no, 31 million. That's the highest you can do. As you can see, it's still not that high, so then I have to go up in years. He he really doesn't want to be with us. Brendan McKay, like I said, I mean we might have to keep him. But I don't know. Um, Russell Stone is a free agent. How much will he cost? Seven million. And Brett Douglas, who's been our closer. He wants $9 million. I'm going to take some chances. I'm going to give all these guys qualifying offers. And I'm just hoping other teams sign them. We get a lot of draft picks. And just that's our retooling. Um, let's take a look at the roster. So if we lose Otani, we got Cordero, and he is locked up. So he would be our new ace. Then we got Coleman, Kozar, uh, Caruso, Pineda. Uh, it's not that strong. Our, our first baseman right now. We could use Josh Naylor at first if we need to. I don't love that, but we could use it. It's not terrible. Um, and William Dobbins is actually not a bad player. He can play the outfield too. I think Rio Ruiz, I mean, I might keep him. If What's his contract? Oh, he's arbitration, so he might get a little expensive. We really don't have a backup shortstop. I mean, we could use Alcantara. He's a good fielder, but Correa is a better fielder and then just an amazing hitter. Um, outfield, Almanza, Holden, and Castaneda. So basically, like I said, we need to improve our offense. And if we lose Correa, that's two bats we need to replace. We need to get a shortstop. Or maybe not to get a shortstop. We can get a defensive mind shortstop and maybe get like a third baseman who's a really good hitter. And we'll be like, Rhea Ruiz, yes, you're a great defend defensive third baseman. Not a bad offensive player, but we're going to need... We could have a below average offensive third baseman because we had an elite shortstop, uh, elite offensive shortstop. But now we're going to be like, we'll get a defensive shortstop and elite offensive third baseman. We can't have two a defensive minded left side of the infield. We got to have some power there. Um, what would McKay? Yeah, he wants 
18 million a year. No, it's not happening. So let's find out. I mean, maybe we just go nuts on re- pitching and we just get like a nasty rotation and be like, I hope our offense, we, it just gets us into the playoffs and I hope our offense just does its thing. So let's find out what Otani does. All right, he's exercised his option. So he's staying with us. So we have Otani. That's a good start. Dude, this is going to be a tough. This is going to be a tough offseason. Like, look at this. One, our two of our top best players are going to be gone, it looks like. Uh, what I'm going to do, just, I'll give, I'll do the four-year 120 for Correa. I'll do it. I don't think he's going to accept it. But, hey, you never know. I'll do it for Correa. The rest of these guys, I'll let them walk. Especially the bullpen. We have so many bullpen options. Um, and Correa has not accepted that. Let's go take a look at salary arbitration. So, Rio Ruiz. Uh, how much does he want? Eight. Uh, okay, $4.5 million for two years. I think that's fair. And I do want to get him locked up because I think he'd be a great trade chip if we are going to have to move him. Ross Coleman, who's been very good for us. He's 27. I will lock him up if the contract is right. $7 million is a little... I'll do three years at the 4.2. That doesn't... That will basically take him to his 30. He's a free agent. Now, I'm not, like, locking up any free agent years, but I think at $4.2 million, that's how much it would cost at one year or two or three. I'm okay with giving him three years because he's been so good the last couple of years. So, we'll bring that up just a little bit. So, 13.5. And Blackenhorn, who is a good bench player. That being said, I'm not going to break the bank for a bench player. 1.8 is a little... I might just... What's, what is arbitration? He made 704. I, I think we have... Let me double check what we have for backup third baseman. We have... Paldo, who's not great, but not bad. Um, Sosa, who's a, a great at stealing. Not much power. But I think we can let him go. Black and Horn, I just don't want to pay one point something million for a bench bat. I, I think money's going to be tight. Almost two million is a lot of money. Um, let's go to tender contracts now. So Shane Fay, who's turned into a very good player for us. He's already 29, but he only has two years of service time. And a five, let's do four years at $2.9 million. That is, I'll, I'll end up being a little over three. But I have no problem with that. Almanza, now he's only 21, one year of service time. He had a very solid year, 268, 349 average, 387 slugging. Um, hmm. I want to lock him up, but I think we may need to spend money elsewhere. So I don't want to overpay him. I, unfortunately, I want to keep him cheap. Uh, Mason Richardson, we're going to look to sign him. I'll just be one of these smaller contracts. And the rest of this is really just, I'll do it, guys. You don't really need to see it. It's not much to see. So give me a second, and I'll finish all this for you guys. Hey, guys, so I went through all those contracts. Now let's go take a look at free agents and see what's out there. So there's a closer here, Jason Burkett, 29 years old. How much is he going to cost? I, now, the reason why I looked at him right away, he did not have a qualifying offer. So he'll cost like $10 million a year, probably a little bit more. There's Correa. Here's Joey Gallo. Now, if this is BR, I'd definitely pick him up. But uh, this isn't. This is franchise. I don't. I want to get people. I mean, could Royce Lewis be an alternative? If he's like eh, 10, 15 million. Okay, never mind. I was going to say Royce Lewis. It doesn't look bad, but doesn't play great for 15 million. Not worth it. Um, hmm. I think what we, I might just do is just go crazy on starting pitching and just build a. a Maybe it's just this is a team that we're going to build an amazing rotation, which is like get another, like we have Otani, maybe get another, one other pitcher who's like a 90 plus. If we can't keep Correa, so get like three 90 pluses, get a dominant bullpen, which we have three 90 pluses and an 86, and we got some young guys still coming. Um, And just hope our, and have great defense, and our hope we have enough offense. Like offense will be our weak point. For sure, Holden has a good year. Almonds has a good year. And also, I was looking at signs. I was going through all our young players. This is Davino guy. I'm sleeping on him a little. I was sleeping on him, but he has some power, and he can't. He he can't really field. So I think he's a DH only. But he could be a DH for us, and he could be a guy who gets us 25 home runs, which may be very very important. Um. So let's simulate a little bit. And well, let's take on. Let's take a look at some free agents. So if we can't get Correa, if Correa leaves, who are some players? Uh, Nick Gordon's out here, great defense, but I don't want to give up draft pick. Uh, let's see, Peraza, not really great defense or anything. Pretty good for Rodon, 34 years old. However, he was not that good last year. On base of 272, there's a Kevin Newman. 
which I'm just Seinfeld references all over the place. Paul DeYoung, a pretty good hitter. Actually, he might be the guy. And I saw him, there's another name here. Now, he's definitely going down, but he still hit 259, 23 home runs. Let's just say he goes down a little bit. Let's say he hits 20 home runs, 250. His wins above replacement last year was 2.4. Let's say it's at like 1.5. How much would he cost? $6 million? That's not awful. There's Trey Turner. Not much of a fielder, so I'm not sure if I really love him. I think we can maybe find some in the in the trade market. And all right, so let's simulate a few days. Let's see what happens with Correa. And there we go. Correa is gone. Seven years, 196. Royce Lewis is a white sock. He's already, Correa's 33. That's signed until he's 40. You know what, Correa? You helped us win three World Series. Nothing but love. Good luck in Minnesota, except when you play us, hopefully in the playoffs. Brett Douglas, all right, that was one of our closers. We gave him qualifying offers. A little worried about that, and he might accept it. Well, he's an angel, so we got another draft pick. Burkett went to the Red Sox, and oh, man, what a mustache. Nine-year deal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Paul Harms is a White Sox. Ian Anderson's a Stroh. Buxton's an Indian. Birdie is a National. Sohn, all right, that was our other reliever, which we gave. He only got six, basically $7 million a year for six years. So now we just have to find out if McKay will accept it. He's okay. He declined our qualifying offer and he's going to remain a free agent. So there we go. We got one, two, we got four additional draft. We have so many draft picks next year. Fado is a brave. Gallo's a giant. All right. So now let's, okay. We know what we have to do. We need to find a shortstop and I need to get another. Like we have to. Basically, the goal of baseball, it's very simple, but it gets overlooked. You have to score more runs than the other team. There's two ways of doing it. Score, like, there's ways of building your team, either building a great offense and, and, and I mean, the goal is having great offense and a great pitching staff. It's just so hard to do, especially with limited s- contracts or with our team, limited salary. So we can either have a great offense, not great pitching, and we'll win because we score more. But now we're going to do run prevention. We're going to have a great defense. I want to get another mid-90s pitcher. And you're like, do we have the ammunition for it? We do. I'm giving, uh, I mean, I might give up Oda. I might give up some of these other Bs. We have another A here in Vasquez. We have Russell Koo still, who's a great hitting catcher. That I mean, he could be a DH for us, but how do you do last year? He, I don't think he DH. Yeah, he didn't DH, but he hit 306. Like, but I think Wyatt Kern's definitely the man. Um, so I, I let's just see what's out there for pitching. Like, I want to go get that stud, and we have the money. Like, that's the thing. We have the funds to go get somebody. Uh, Giolito has pitched great. Could we get Giolito? Let's see. Let's start it off with um. All right. So if we, for instance, like Giolito's contract is twenty five. We, if I include Pineda seven, as you can tell, money's not an issue. We can get him. We include Oda. We can, and then what do they want? They want to catch. Oh, they want a catcher. Oh, that gets it so close. Like they want second, short, and right. Um, there's a shorts up here that is so close. Quintana is so close. How about, we have some right fielders. We have Jared Parker, who looks to be a pretty good player. Okay, that gets a deal done, so we could get Giolito 99 overall. However, I'm going to be a little greedy. He's 33. Let's see if we can find someone younger, but we know that's there. We know we can get him. Mackenzie Gore has been pitching really good. He's 29. He's locked up to a very friendly deal. He's making 18 next year, then 19, 20, and 21. As you can see, we include that exact same deal. We can get Mackenzie Gore. So we got a package. We can get a stud. Let's see what else is out there. Kopech is not signed. Alex Reyes is 33. And he hasn't been pitching as great as other guys. There's Castillo. How did he do last year? Amazing. Oh, yeah, he won the Cy Young. Oh, and they also have Jim Small, our former prospect with, with us, who had a very good year last year. So there's some... He never really pitched well for us, but as soon as he went to the National League, he really figured it out. So good good on you, Jim. Uh, Blake Snell. How, how, how has he done? He's He had a couple solid years. One really good year, but then that hasn't done much. Let's see what else is out here. Sixto Sanchez has pitched pretty well the last couple, last three years, but I, I don't know. I'm so a like, gunshot with him because of how bad he was for us in MLB 17. If you watch those franchise videos, you remember those. If not, it doesn't hurt to watch them if you if you do enjoy them. Barrios is out there. AJ Puck. Uh, Fulmer, but he's 35. Mitch Clark's 32. Carson Fulmer's 34. Jack Flaherty's 32 and 93 overall. But he pitched terrible last year. I think the move... Now, you guys might think I'm nuts. Because Giolito's 99 overall. He's 33. 
and he has two years remaining. But I like Mackenzie Gore a little bit more just for the fact that he is... That contract's very good, and for four years, and he's only 29. That gives us some flexibility. He's now he he has had some like down years, but two of his last three years, he's been really good. And I'm thinking a lefty that will give us like we got the right hander with Otani, we got the lefty with uh, Gore and Codero, I believe is right. No, he's left hand. So we have two lefties. Coleman is right, and then Kozar is right. So that gives us that third stud starter. Look at that. So 99, 95, and 94. And Otani is a free agent at the end of next year. So that gives us like two young guys who are under contract. Look at Cordero's contract. That is going to save us down the road. So I might even... I, I kind of want to get another one. But in the playoffs, I don't think we need four. We need three. And then just one of these guys are going to have to pitch one game in the play, in like the ALCS in the World Series. And I think Coleman has pitched so well. And then Kozar is the youngster. So now we can use... Caruso or someone like that to go get a shortstop or maybe another position. He has a lot of value out there. We might be able to find a good young shortstop out there. Like I said, try to find something. It's either a team-friendly deal or like has locked up already that we don't have to worry about like re-signing him. Um, let's see. Barreto, he's 32. And I'd rather get someone on the front end of his, thir- like before he's 30. Not like a deal breaker, but Tatis, that's actually a pretty high contract for. He's actually been doing really well though. 289, 26 home runs. Gets on base. He has good defense. His war was 5. That's 16 million. That's a little pricey. We do need to get a first baseman too. We'll come back. We'll circle back on that. There's J.P. Crawford. Um, He's not even that good for a 99. Like, now I know he's a great defender, but his wins above replacement was a 5.3. I mean, that's not as great. Like, you would expect more. Mateo, not a... Great defensive fielder. Pretty good at 79. Uh, not really a great player. Rosario's a great defender. That's for sure. But his contract's at $27 million. Um, Arcia. Polanco. Final year of his deal. Not great. Um, who is this? Oh, Juan Samuel Franco. Former prospect of ours. Really good defender. Can not really hit. And I mean, his contract's not bad, but... Uh, Oh, me? Oh, this Carlos Correa. <laughs> uh, there's Machado. Aston Russell, Royce Lewis, Bo Bichette, and Lindor. Jesus. Tyler Wade. Ooh, really good defender. Mm. Ooh, who is Goats? Justin Goats. Really good contact. Ooh, I like him. Not the greatest fielder, but not bad. He's 31. He's only been in the bigs for three years. Well, five years, but three years of service time. We can get this done. And it's a very team-friendly contract. They, and they want a shortstop. Well, okay, I actually do have... We have this guy who's 24-8 potential. I'm not really too high on him. That almost gets it done. We can include... Um, I don't want to give up anything of... I'll give up this guy. He's, he's good speed, but we have other speed guys. That gets the deal done. There we go. And, that took, and the best part about that is he has only $1.4 million on that contract. Now, I'm not sure how great, how, I mean, how many more years of greatness he has. He's trending up, but he is already 31. But there's the, the contact. I think we can slot him as a number two hitter. Get on, Hopefully, he can get on base at a 400%, I mean, 40% clip. So, Ruiz at third is fine. Gotts at short, left, center, right. Or DH, excuse me, was Teague last year, I believe. Uh, Castaneda, I believe, was DH. Because we had Teague and Wright. Yup. And I'm okay with Teague and Wright. We hope he hits a little bit higher. So now we need a first baseman. So that's what we need is a first baseman now. So let's see what's out there. Ooh, if I can get my paws on Cody Bellinger. I don't think we can. I'm going to give it an honest effort. Kozar, that does help. They don't love Coleman. They don't love... They want a... Ca- Ooh, they want a catcher. I don't, how about if I include Kozar? Ku- oh, I don't think we're going to be able to get him. <laughs> that actually got it kind of close. I'm not sure. They don't seem to like it's Kozar as much. 
Um, I don't think we'll be able to get him. Uh, it would be awesome if we could, but yeah, we can't. All right, let's move on to the next option. And I think Koo can be kind of like the centerpiece to this trade. I don't want to give up Vasquez because he's a young starter we have. Koo just, I don't, he's just kind of blocked. He's a good player, but he's just blocked. Ooh, this guy, Miles Keith, has uh, two first names. Not much power, but really good contact. He's not signed yet, so we can come back to him if that's what we need to do. Uh, Matt Olson, maybe. Great power versus right. Not much versus left. Did hit 29 home runs. $20 million a year. Now I'm good. That I'm okay with passing on. Uh, no, I, w I actually do want some power. I think that's one thing we are going to definitely need is power. Like, I want 80s to maybe 90 power in, uh, if we can. If we can, I mean, if it's not there, it's not there. Josh Bell would definitely, definitely, excuse me, be a guy to get. Last year of his deal, but he could be that middle of the order bat. As long as he doesn't retire. And if we don't have to give up, I, okay, we're going to have to give up a lot, but I, we might be able to get this to work. We, we, I can rationalize we get a draft pick back. Um, They want a second baseman. Okay, we actually, oh, they don't really love our second base prospects. They don't really, oh, yeah, I don't think this will work. Yeah, that won't work. All right, let's keep moving. Um, Vogelbach has some pop. Unfortunately, not great defense. Ryder Jones. Good defense, not, he's 33, he's already pretty old, but he's getting better. 306, 19 home, I mean, his power has gone down every year. <laughs> I mean, he's still playing a lot of games, having a lot of at-bats. His slugging has actually increased, though, last year. His wins above replacement was four. Hmm. It's not a ton of great options. I mean, Greg Bird would be a very, we might have to find a high contact guy. <clears throat> Pavin Smith, last year of his deal, and I, he, I think he was. I think we traded him, actually. I feel kind of dirty then re-signing him. <laughs> now, this guy I'm actually intrigued by. $4.5 million last year of a deal. He's 31. Not great defense, but he has great vision. So he gets on base. Maybe. Pick him. Oh, you know what? Let's just get this guy, I guess. Kyle Drew, take a look at that. His $660,000. Cause he's only is his contract because he's only two years of service time. He's already thirty, but look at that contact, good durability, good fielding, not much power. But he hit three forty three last year, and Koo does it, it. It works. We get him for Russell Koo straight up. Maybe we can get something else. Can we get this pitcher as well? I mean, okay, we can get him. I mean, I don't think include a lot for that. Um, I want to keep him. I want to keep. I think because we traded some, one of our other speedsters. Mm, I'll give up Rado. There we go. We get a closer as well. So there we go. We got our. So let's just go through the lineup and take a look. So our rotation is Otani, Gore, Codero, Coleman, Kozar. We can probably use Chavez as our long man, or maybe Mike Kim. Either one of these guys. Our relievers are Cooper, and we got this Escobar, maybe. But we got there's one, and then we got Cole, Bias, Fay. So we got two lefties with Fay and Cooper, and then we got Logan, Richardson, like these guys still, and that Moreno guy we just got. Our catcher's current, and I guess we have Christensen as our backup. That's fine. Uh, maybe get one in the roll five draft. First base, we have Kyle Drew. Josh Naylor can be a backup. Second base is Miles. This Dobbins guy, I might just put him out there and see what we can get. I'll do that in a minute. Ruiz at third. Shortstop is Gotts, or Goats. Almon Almanza's in left. Holden's in center. Castanilla is DH. Teague is in right. And I guess we'll have Davino in the minors one more year. And then, I mean, maybe if, like, Teague is just a terrible, cannot hit, maybe we then put Castaneda back in the field. Tavino then could be our DH. He's a DH only with that fielding. Um, so I guess now let's, because I just don't know. Force Miles is in the last year of his deal, so maybe we keep Dobbins because of that. But we don't need uh, Visparos. I know we don't need him. And he has some value, so that's what we can get. Maybe a good prospect from him. An A potential and a B. Now, the A is 24B. Is it? A reliever. I actually don't mind that trade from the Orioles. Jared Parker, we already traded. We he was literally just we traded him a minute ago. I actually like that trade from the Orioles. 
Yeah, we get a reliever with eight potential who's twenty four seventy five, but the starter Jimenez is only eighteen B potential seventy one overall. I don't mind that at all. So we'll do that. We get our third best second baseman in the system. I mean, that's dealing from position of strength. Uh, Alcant- Alcantara. I mean, again, another position we really don't. With Gotts there and Quintana is kind of like the next guy up. I'm okay with moving from Alcantara if we can get a good prospect back. I'm not gonna just trade him to trade him, but if we can get. A legit prospect back and look at that center fielder. Let's take a look at him. Uh, Polito, he's toolsy, but there's durability in the fielding might improve their speed if he can ever hit. I'll take a chance on him. It's only 21, so I'll do that. Now let's take a look. So um, let's see here. Ragland is he's starting to turn into something. But I think we are good. Now let's make sure our 40 man is all set. And also, we can take a look at our budget moving forward. As you can see, our projected cash flow is actually very good. And most years, we're negative. We actually have the funds. As you can see, our salary is, for the last couple years has been the 150s to 160s. This year upcoming, it's only for 125. Next year, it's only down to 74. What this means is we have flexibility. We can go get, if at the trade deadline, we need that power back. We need a middle of the order bet. We can go get it. Maybe we need to get another bullpen arm. We can go get it. This is, I think, giving us the flexibility with the fun with our money is a good thing. So let's just make sure we have pl- taken care of our forty man. This video is actually running very long. I apologize, but we're almost done with it. It was this was a hard off season, but and it was tough to see. I mean, we were, we lost four key, nah, three key, and then a and then. Uh, Cone or Sone, excuse me, was a a good a, a good reliever, but he's not someone who is like I'm devastated to lose. I'll gladly take that draft pick. So um, I'll just add this guy to the forty man, this backup catcher, because I think he'll be on the team. Naylor will be a DH. Make sure he's not eligible. Okay, he's not. Oh, he's on the forty man it's right there. Third base, we're fine. So, I mean, we do want to maybe build up our farm system a little bit. And I'm hoping, like, this draft we have coming up is going to be very important. We're going to have a ton of... We've been having a lot of draft picks. We haven't... We've been getting some solid Bs. But we want to get... Like I said, I keep saying this. I need to get a home run pick. I need to do this for our system. Like, we need to get a guy who has 95-plus potential, you know? All right, we are good on that. So, we can now sim free agency... Tristan McKenzie is going to the Royals. Brendan McKay is a Cardinal, so good luck in St. Louis, Brendan. He was an original player with us when we started the franchise. He was already on the Rays. He was number four pick in the 2017 draft. Good luck to you, man. You, I, I was hoping always for a little bit more from you. I hope for the best in St. Louis. Hope we play you in the World Series. Torres is a Nat. J.D. Davis is an Indian. Uh, there's the trade where we got Gots for Caruso, who I think is going to be turning into a really good... I think he's going to turn into a really good pitcher. He's 25B potential, but I think in the National League he'll do really well. Uh, Pineda, there we go. He had a couple really good years. Oda's a top prospect. Parker is an A potential. We gave up a lot from Mackenzie Gore, but if he does what he did last year, I have no problem with it. And he's locked up for four more years, so it's not like a rental. We have him long term. Cal Quantrill is... And Indian, Nick Gordon, is a Tiger. Tanner Houck, Red Sox prospect, not really good this past year, is going to the White Sox. Michael Baez is a Tiger. Look at the AL Central. Sal Romano is an Indian, where he did the 40-man. At Sim to Free Agency 3. We have too many people on the roster, so let's fix that. Oh, we still have Thomas Thomas. Just chilling. Chilling in the system. Let's get rid of one more guy here. Okay. Luplo is a Padre. All right. Let's go to the next part of free agency. Ryan McMahon is a traded for... Look, they traded Pineda. <laughs> wow. Well, Pineda is now an A. Ronaldo Lopez is a Red Sox. Tyler Glasnow's an Indian. Some big names. Rodon is a Pirate. Tapia's a Dodgers. Oh, he's back in the NL West. Tyler Naquin's a Cardinal. Let's go to the Rule 5 draft. I'm hoping to find Paulino's a Dodger. Blackburn's an 
Oh, you're going to have to shave that beard, Blackbird. <laughs> you're a Yankee now. <laughs> Ooh. Cardinals, Tate Matheny, current Red Sox prospect. Good defensive outfielder. Son of, yes, Mike Matheny. Um, which is ironic he's now on the Cardinals. <laughs> uh, Freddie Edmondson, Matt Sauer for Bofiera. Okay. Colin Moran's a uh, national. So we have the 29th pick in this. Draft, and like I said, oh, there's a catcher that just got taken. I Like I said, if we can get like a backup catcher, I will do it. But he's got to have like a certain skill. Like either great defensive, but he, he can't really hit. Um, or a guy who can really hit. But nah, there's nothing there. I'm okay. Um, I'll probably just punt on the Rule 5 draft. Yeah, we're going to punt on it and get this offseason finished. Video's running north of 30 minutes. Don't think we have anything else to do. Tiger's interested to trade. All right. Cedric Boyce, the second baseman, B potential. Eh, good speed. 31-year-old B potential reliever. Good case per nine. That being said, we have so many relievers that are like, we have, he's never going to play for us. Aaron Blair is a red. Kyle Drews, we just traded for him. We get Craig Aiken, who was a former Tampa Bay Ray. And Tyler Widener? Widener? Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. Kyle Drews going to hit three, 300. At least I'm hoping he is. I'm going to be a little worried if he's not. All right, let's uh, make sure everyone's signed. They are. Let's go to spring training. Let's go to the regular season. We'll take a look at the... Oh, I hate it when they do that. Um... Let's take a look at the team. Let's, before we go any further, let's take, make sure our scouts are all there. No one retired. No one did. We're good. And let's take a look at the top prospects. What do we have? Dude, this Kevin Simmons has been a top prospect in the game for a while. Um, What do we have? Where is our, I'm also looking to see if anyone... Gary Oda, who we traded, is a top 10 prospect, which I'm okay with trading for what we got. Our best prospect is Raglan, 25 years old. I might call him up to AAA. He, I don't. I'm not too high on him. Uh, Polito, Polito, who we got in one of those trades. We'll see. He's only 21, so he's got time. Uh, that starter Velasquez is 72 overall, 22 years old. Anyone else? Dwayne Medina, 25. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if he'll ever turn into something. Ochoa, another starter, B potential. Where's number zero, which is kind of cool. Anyone else? Mason Richardson somehow is still a prospect. He's been on our. He's just been like. So close. Um, Jared Parker, who we did trade in. So they got in that trade, the Padres, they got the number 10 prospect, the number 49 prospect, and Pineda, who they, they traded to the A's. And Ben Escobar is another reliever. We have 75 overall, A potential from Massachusetts. So I'm a little biased. Um, all right, let's get the lineup and everything. Pitching rotation, Otani Cadero, Gore, Coleman, Kozar. Francis as the long man. Jay Peters, they're going young with this. I don't know why. Like, they put him on waivers. That makes no sense. Call up Richardson. We're going to send down Escobar. He has options, so that's fine. All right, we also have to send some people from Class A to Triple A. They're going to skip Double A just so this all fits. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Um, right, let's take a look at the lineup. Gods leading off. Um, actually, you know what? I think it might be wise to have Holden kind of be in the middle of an aura bat. He's twenty plus home runs. Almanza batting second. I kind of want Kyle Drew higher in the lineup, and I want Teague to be our right fielder, and I want Castaneda to be our DH. And I think Castaneda in the middle of the order. I mean, that bat's gonna play. So it's kind of right-handed heavy. Let's have Ruiz up. There's Teague. I mean, I just hope Teague hits a little bit. Hit like 250 and I'll be okay. So Gotts, Drew, Holden, Castaneda. Yeah, like Holden's now like our centerpiece. I'm, I mean, we. I mean, this lineup is it, it's not as good as last year's. I'm just hoping our pitching is better. Just we'll score less, but hopefully we give up less and we can still win. Um, we also got to make sure we have a speed guy on the bench. 81 for Dobbins actually is not bad. But only 63 steal. Hmm. I might have to call someone up. 
We don't have a backup outfielder, so I probably will send down Stolak and call up an outfielder. And um, let's have you here. That looks good. So I want, okay, Kyle Drew bat second. There we go. And then Kyle Drew batting second. All right, so now I want to call up an outfielder who has some speed. That will be Rigdon. 90 speed, 97 steel. Call you up. And we will send down Solak to AAA. He has options. So I think we are good then. Let's just make sure. Um, Marino is a closer and Escobar is a reliever. So make sure they're there. And that's fine. No, I do have... Actually, let's put Cooper as a long man. Yeah. We might have one too many arms in the bullpen, but we'll see how they work. Actually, I kind of want... I feel like... We'll see how it works. If, they, if the wrong guys are getting used, we'll call some down. Because I mean, our, mine, our lineup looks fine, I guess. We have a center fielder who can put left and right. We got a first baseman who can hit, a backup catcher, and... Why is Forrest Miles sitting? I don't want him sitting. But then Dobbins can is not terrible. Maybe get actually let's go get another let's call up another bat. I'm, this video is going longer than I wanted it to, but um, Jim plays can really hit. Actually, let's call him up, and then we can call uh I mean call down Stuart Francis, who is I mean yeah he's just next on the totem pole. There we go. Now our pitching rotation that looks a little better. And come on, we got two lefties, the rest are righties, two lefties in the rotation. All right, that will now end up oh, before we end it. One last thing. We still have the number one ranked team in baseball, as you can see. First in pitching, first in contact. Kind of what I was shooting for. I wish defense was a little higher. It's only 13th, but 26th in power. We may have to find some power during the season. We'll see how we do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please drop a like if you did. I will talk to you all later, boys. Take it easy. Peace.